The next stage in our closed traverse is to do a scale plot of our site or our four points that we've measured. Starting off with point A, we'll draw in a zero line to represent north. And with the bearing angle that we're using in our sheet or bearing angle to the next point in the closed traverse is 100 degrees 30 minutes 0 seconds so we'll draw that in and the distance from our point A to point B so the distance A to B here on row 20, 47.569. So we're going to draw a sketch at our 100 degrees and for a scale distance of 47.596. This will be our point B. The distance we can mark on for the length of this part of the traverse, 47.596 meters. And the bearing angle for this part of the traverse was 100 degrees, 30 minutes, zero seconds. Now at point B, we're going to draw what is our point D. The next angle that we have at point D is 90, 59, 41.88. So we're drawing this through. going for a distance of 21.082 that will bring us to point D the distance for this part of the traverse 21.082 and we can mark on the internal angle at B from our corrected mean horizontal angle and that being a value of 90 degrees 59 minutes 41.88 seconds now similarly we're going to draw the next part of the traverse. Trying to do it relatively to scale. We're going to take us up to point C. The internal angle that we're going to use at point C is the, or sorry, at point D, 9015, 6.87 seconds. The distance we're going to have is 47.673. That will take us to point C. We'll mark in our distance 47.673 meters and we can mark in the angle at point D to be 90, 15, 6.87 seconds. And finally we can close off our traverse by joining the lines from A to C 
and mark in the angle at C which is 89.32.56.87 and the distance is 22.106 And finally at point A, going back and the angle measured at our point, Central Instrument Station A is 89.12.14.37 and we can mark that angle then, 89.12.14.37. Three seven seconds. Next to this, before we finish our scaled diagram, what we want to do is to work out the angle to rotate from one leg of the traverse to get on to the next leg of the traverse. So what I mean by that is, say at point B, what I want is the clockwise angle rotation to go from line AB onto line BD. That will simply be calculated as 360 minus the internal angle we have B, which is 360 minus 90, 59, 41.88 that will give us 269 0 18.18 seconds similarly at point B we want the angle to rotate around clockwise to go from line BD to line DC 360 minus 90, 15, 6.87. Our angle is 269, 44, 53.12. Repeat now at point C, the angle to rotate clockwise from line DC to CA 360 minus 89 32 56.87 and that gives us a value of 270 27 3.12 and finally at point A similarly we want the angle to go from line AC to AB so our angle that we want is this angle all the way around given by 360 minus 8912 14.37 and that angle is 270 47 45.62 seconds. That has now completed our traverse plot. You can fill in the name, date, location and job description as well. Uh, we're going to use these angles in red to be able to work out the whole circle bearing for each of the parts in our traverse. We already have the whole circle bearing measured for line AB, i.e. 130, 0. But we're going to use that with our clockwise angle rotation to work out the whole circle bearing for line BD, DC, AC, and finally check our value A to B again.